5 minute school and in today's video we're going to be discussing the chemical equilibrium and the equilibrium constant. So a chemical equilibrium is a state in which the reactants and products have no net change over time. So it's when the forward reactions and the reverse reactions are occurring at equal rates or speeds. Now we describe or well for example the state of this equilibrium we describe it by using the equilibrium constant K. So K is equilibrium constant. Now using the equilibrium constant you can work out the concentrations of either the products at uh, the product sorry or the reactants at equilibrium. So to understand it further we're going to use a general equation here. So imagine well I'm going to use this now so Imagine they're all gases, it's a reversible reaction, and it's at a state of equilibrium. So C, capital C. Okay, so remember there will all be gases. Now when we allow this to reach equilibrium, and then you measure the equilibrium concentrations of everything, what will happen is you combine it all into an expression called the equilibrium constant. Okay, so the equilibrium constant in this case will be Kc, K being the, elect the equilibrium constant and C showing that it's in terms of concentration. Now the products of the reaction you include at the top of the equation, so C and D. <coughs> now because we're talking about the concentrations of C or D or the products or the reactants, we're going to put them in square brackets like this. These square brackets mean that we're discussing it in terms of concentration. And now the reactants go at the bottom, so A and B. Now imagine the lowercase letters are actually numbers. So for example, if this was carbon, it would be uh, 2 carbon, so you'd put 2 there, but in this case we're going to put C, D, B. and A. Okay, so as I said the right hand side of the equation goes at the top and the left hand side goes at the bottom. So this is basically the way to work out Kc. You have the products, time, the concentration of the products multiplied by each other taking into account obviously um, the number of them here which we've included as the square numbers over the reactants at the bottom. Now, in the exam, for example, there's a lot of calculations that you might be given either to work out Kc, so they'll give you the values of these or you have to work them out, or they will ask you to work out, let's say, the value of D, and they will give you the equilibrium constant. So it is important that you can understand the basics of the equilibrium constant and how it comes about. Now, one thing I have to say is, in this situation we have we are discussing an equilibrium which is homogeneous and that's whereby all of the products and the reactants are in the same state so they're all gases in this case now you can have a heterogeneous equilibrium equilibrium where they're in different states states. So what we can do is point out that some of them could be solids. For example, B could be a solid. That would be the case when it's heterogeneous. Now, we can discuss some examples. For example, the Harbour process, which is homogeneous. So, let's get a new, a new sheet. So, the equation for the Harbour process is nitrogen, let's say it's a, it's a gas obviously, plus H2 gives NH3, and we need to balance the equation as well, so there's two nitrogens there, so two, there's three hydrogens there, so it's three here. 
And so in this case, the KC expression would be KC equals, now we have to have the products at the top, so NH3. Don't forget the brackets. That's for concentration. And we have 2 here, so to the power 2 over N2. There's no indice here because it's just nitrogen there on its own and hydrogen here the power three that's the case for the harbor process this is how you'd write the equation for the kc expression now there can also be cases where obviously in heterogeneous equations equilibriums where there are solids involved and when you have that kind of situation when you're drawing the KC expression you have to ignore the solids from the KC expression so on when you're heating calcium carbonate you have the equation COCO3 that's a solid and you have the products which is calcium oxide which is a solid and also carbon dioxide now when you're doing this in a closed system the carbon dioxide is trapped so it stays in so the KC expression in this case would just be KC equals CO2 no indices because it's just car uh, carbon dioxide on its own because you don't include the solids in the expression so all that's left is just the carbon dioxide in the equilibrium constant expression. Okay, so I hope that's helped some of you and make sure you comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.